So last year, around the time of the US Olympic marathon trials, we had a ton of companies announce their carbon plated marathon racing super shoes. Now that the track and field Olympic trials have started, we're starting to see new super spikes on the feet of these Olympic hopefuls and give them a better chance at competing against Nike athletes wearing the Dragonfly or the Nike Air Zoom Victory. So the formula for a super spike is pretty similar to the formula for a marathon racing super shoe. Number one, it has a lightweight and bouncy foam in it. Number two is that it has more foam in the midsole than a typical track spike normally does. And number three is that it has a plate of some sort, though it is typically carbon. So in this video, I'll be talking about the mid and long distance super spikes coming from most shoe companies this year. So let's start with Adidas. The first shoe I want to talk about is the Addy Zero Ambition. This shoe will come in at $120 and weigh 5.9 ounces. This is a mid-distance spike, so it's targeted at 800 to 1500 meters. And for the midsole, it utilizes Light Strike Pro. In the forefoot, there's a big chunk of it, but the rest is just regular EVA foam. So it does have a more standard spike plate on it, but it also has shark skin to add extra grip. The upper is the Cellar Mesh 2.0, which is pretty much the same thing found on the Audios Pro 2. Their other new spike is the Avanti TYO. I'm not sure if this is short for Tokyo, but this will come in at $180, I believe. That's what I got when I converted it from Japanese yen. And this is their long distance spike, so ideally those kind of 5k, 10k distances. And this spike utilizes 100% Light Strike Pro in the midsole. And just like a lot of their road racing shoes, these spikes have the carbon infused energy rods in the forefoot. It does have a more minimal spike plate and a more traditional upper, but this is essentially the Audios Pro of the track. All right, now let's talk about what ASICS is bringing to the table. So this shoe is the Metaspeed LD0. When I converted it from Japanese yen, it was 250 US dollars. So hopefully that's not right because that is very expensive for a track spike. But this uses a full Flight Foam Blast Turbo midsole, which is what they use on their Metaspeed Edge and Sky marathon racing shoes. It does have a carbon plate that is an extension of the spike plate. So instead of a typical spike plate with removable spikes, it has carbon spikes built into the plate that runs through the midsole, and it's designed to be more efficient than traditional spikes. It has an HL0 upper, which is supposed to be more elastic-y and supportive. From Brooks, we're getting the Wire 7. So the Wire 7 cost $130, it weighs 5.5 ounces. And this is a long distance spike, so ideally those 5K, 10K races. The midsole uses Brooks Super Foam, which is DNA Flash, has a good amount of it. So this shoe doesn't have an internal plate, but it does have a full length external PBAX plate with removable spikes. It has a secure and breathable quick knit upper, and this is essentially their Hyperion Elite 2, but over the track. All right, so what are Hoka athletes wearing for the trials? Well, they have a couple of models. The first is their mid-distance model, the Cielo XMD. This comes in at $160 and weighs 4.5 ounces. This one does not use a super foam. It just uses compression molded EVA for the midsole, but it does have an external spike plate. And I'm not sure if there's also a carbon plate embedded, I'd assume that it does, but I haven't heard anything about that. The upper is very breathable with large cutouts. The long distance version of the spike is the Cielo XLD. Again, $160 and it comes in at 3.7 ounces, so super lightweight. It again has the CM EVA midsole with the swallowtail heel. This one for sure does have a full length embedded carbon fiber plate. It has a typical horseshoe shaped spike plate and it has a similar upper to the mid distance variant. All right, now let's talk about a few spikes from New Balance. The first one is their mid distance offering 
and this one is the Fuel Cell MDX. The shoe costs $180, comes in at 4.4 ounces, and is designed for distances from 800 meters to 5k. It does have a full length Fuel Cell midsole, which is the same compound like in the RC Elite. It has a full length bottom loaded carbon plate that has built in non removable spikes. And the upper is a knitted material with a booty construction. Their long distance offering is the Fuel Cell LDX, which is $180. And this version was announced last year and uses Fuel Cell foam, a carbon plate, and a an traditional external spike plate. But this year, on the feet of Emma Coburn, we've seen her wearing a new version of the spike. The new model, I assume, uses full length Fuel Cell foam as well but the plate looks a lot more like the current MDX. It's bottom loaded and exposed in the forefoot, so it also acts as a spike plate with the embedded spikes, but there's more cushioning in the heel than there is in the MD version. And some of the most popular super spikes that kind of started this are Nike. Of course we have the Air Zoom Victory at $180 and comes in at 4.7 ounces. This is anywhere from 800 meters up to 10K. In the midsole, it uses Zoom X and Air Zoom pods. It has a full length embedded carbon plate above those Air Zoom pods and an Atom Knit upper. And this is like their Apple Fly, but for the track. Their other offering is the $150 Dragonfly, which weighs 4.7 ounces. And this can range anywhere from 1500 meter to 10K races. It has a full length Zoomax midsole, and the plate on this is plastic or PBAX, but it extends all the way from the heel to the forefoot and acts as the spike plate. This is kind of like the Vaporfly of the track. Alright, so the last company I'm going to be talking about is Saucony. So they've been very popular with their Endorphin Pro and Endorphin Speed shoes, but they're bringing that to the track and cross country course as well. So we don't know a lot about this Endorphin track spike. I assume it'll use their Power Run PB foam and it has a swallow tail like Hoka spikes do. It appears to have a full length carbon plate and a traditional external forefoot spike plate. One spike that we do know a little more about is the Endorphin XC. So this shoe will come in at $160 and weigh 5.3 ounces. And based off of that, we can assume that the Endorphin track spike might cost around that $160, but we will have to see. So I'm excited to see these spikes on the feet of athletes in Tokyo, and I'm excited to see companies getting more innovative with their track spikes. Which super spikes would you want to compete in? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't seen my video about Nike's Dragonfly, make sure you check that out. And as always, keep on running.